Did it happen to your business? Did somebody just ask you to do an EcoVadis questionnaire because you're in their supply chain? It happens all the time. I see a lot of companies try to fill it out quickly. EcoVadis survey comes in. They answer some environmental, social, human rights, ethics questions. They send it back and then they get their score a little bit later and maybe they got under 50%, which is the pass. So if this happened to you, people often ask about ESG or EcoVadis consulting and how that works. So this video is all about reminding you again what EcoVadis is, if you get that from your large customer. And part two will be about what does EcoVadis consulting look like and how maybe could you lean on it to pass. All right, let's get into it. So it's way more fun to do this live. So here I am on EcoVadis' website. You probably got an email or maybe a phone call from your big customer asking you to fill it out. So you can go to sustainability assessments and let's talk a little bit about EcoVadis. So it's a rating system and likely your large customer signed up and they asked everyone in their supply chain or a, a portion of their supply chain to go and fill this out. What they're assessing you on is environment, ethics, labor and human rights, and sustainable procurement. And then once you fill this out, it takes a little bit of time. It's more than 40 questions. Oftentimes you upload documents, you have to prove things, data, so-and-so, uh, hit send, and then it takes about four or five or six weeks for somebody to assess it, get back and you get your score. The next step is just don't do anything more and potentially lose that large customer. Option two is look for help. And that's where an EcoVadis consultant can come in. Likely people on your team or at your company are not specialized in environmental social governance yet, and it could take some time to upskill them. So if you can just lean on a fractional sustainability person to help you, you can get it done quickly. So here are the three steps they go through. Step one, they look at your current scorecard to see how you did. Did you do great in one area, poor in one area? Uh, where are the strengths and weaknesses? I always call this the gap analysis. Then step two is they look for low hanging fruit. In EcoVadis, things are worth different values. Some are high impact on your score, low impacts. So we take a look and we build a plan for rolling out, let's say 12 things or 20 things you need to do. So if you said, no, we don't have an environmental policy and you scored low on environmental, well, guess what you're going to do? As an EcoVadis consultant or an ESG consultant can help you do that, build that environmental policy. Or maybe you are poor on training or actions. Again, that person can be the brains behind the operation and show you what to do and where to do it. And then step three is they can help you go and reassess, refill out that survey so that you can go get rated again from EcoVadis and hopefully get one of those shiny badges. The last thing I wanna say is Getting an EcoVadis badge is often mandatory. You have to do it. It's a demand from a customer and you just, you can't ignore it because it impacts your bottom line. But take that as an opportunity to get all your ducks in a row because ESG and sustainability is not going away. So by answering EcoVadis' question and creating policies or starting to track data, that sort of stuff, if you're getting that organized, the next client that asks you for it, you're ready. All right, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, you can fill out our contact us form and we'll book a quick 15 minute call and then we'll uh, show you how we can help. You.